Hey everybody, it is McQuanny, and welcome back to another 5M tutorial video today. I'm going to be showing you guys how to add a vehicle pack and how to change the spawn codes for it. I've gotten a lot of positive feedback on the 5M tutorials a long time ago in the past when I did them. So I wanted to come back to it and just kind of give you guys what you want to see. I've heard a lot of people say, please bring it back. Please do some more with it. So we're going to do... Uh, some more tutorials and uh, I'm not sure how many I'm going to do. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. If you guys need or want to leave any suggestions of things for me to do, go ahead and do that in the comments below. But I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to change vehicle spawn codes and how to add vehicles to the server. Okay, so I have this Federal Signal 11 CVPI pack, whatever. I just chose a random car uh, out of the folders and this right here is FileZilla. I've made a video already a long time ago about how to use FileZilla to transfer files from your computer to your server. So if you guys need to figure that out, go watch that. But um, seeing as you're already connected here, assuming you're already connected here. All right, so seeing as we're already connected here, we're gonna go ahead and first go over how to change this to what you want. So how you want it. Some Darius Rucker wagon wheel over there. Okay, so this is our folder with our vehicle in it. So I just have a test folder. Yours might be different or whatever, but this is your vehicle file here, your stream, all that good shit. So let's start off. Say you want to change it. Let's change it to SAFR underscore um, 11 CVPI. Okay, so now you want to change the file. That way it looks a little bit cleaner. I like to keep my files organized. So we've done that. Now click on this and then say you, you want to change the spawn codes. You don't want it to be fed. You know, you don't, every time you spawn this in, you don't want to type in fed sig 11 cvpi bb or whatever the hell. So say that you want to change the spawn code and make it a bit better. Let's go ahead and change the name on it. So you can this name, whatever you change on this stream folder for these four files, some some car packs only have three. This one has four, so it just depends. It doesn't really matter. But you're gonna have to change all four of those to the spawn code that you want. So for example, I'm gonna change it to eleven CVPI HP. Okay. I don't know if that's well, how you want it or not, you can change it to whatever you want. It doesn't matter. You could put I hate people, fuck people, and it would still spawn in. All right. Finishing up here. They just have to all be the same. Call this HP, call it PD, call it whatever you want. Okay, so now that all four of them are changed, um, this mod kit section you don't have to worry about. Okay, so don't mess with the mod kit section because that will mess up everything if you do. All right, now four of these are changed. If you have a mod kit section, don't touch it. Now you go back to your main folder here and you have your vehicles.meta file. Go ahead and open that in a text file, full screen that, and you see your model name right here. This was the old spawn code. So these two, model name and text name, you have to change to your new spawn code. So do this and then do 11 CVPI HP or whatever your spawn code is. All right, and so if there's only one car in this pack like this one has, then you would there's nothing else for you to change. You just change that one. If there's multiple cars in the pack, then the vehicles.meta is going to have 10 different sections where it says this, you just have to line up the spawn codes and change them. So like if, if uh, there was also a charger in this pack, then you would scroll down on the vehicles.meta to the charger section and you would change the one where instead of it saying like 16 charger, you would change it to whatever your new spawn code is. So you just do this for every single spawn code that you change. All right. And then you'll save this, exit out. Now the handling line, you don't have to touch. The handling name, as it shows right here, you might be thinking, well, that's the old spawn code. Well, what it goes off of, which actually I don't even think that's the old spawn code, but what it goes off of is your vehicles.meta and what the handling ID is for it. So like if you change the handling ID to this spawn code, then you would have to change it in the handling line. But 
there's no reason to change that, so I don't recommend that. Car variations, you click on. This one, you do have to change because it's that model name that you just changed a minute ago. So you're going to change it to the new spawn code. If you don't do this, it's going to completely fuck up your vehicle. So you need to make sure that you do this. Okay. Let me save that. And then the car coals, you also do not have to worry about because this goes off of a mod kit. If it doesn't go off a mod kit, then you still don't have to worry about it. Even though it says model name, this one's based off a kit. So you, you really don't have to worry about this. Even if it wasn't based off a kit, you still wouldn't have to worry about it. Um, which here I'll... Because um, usually the car coals will be on its own spawn code name, kind of like the handling line. So you don't really ever have to worry about that. Now the car coals, if you have issues with lighting... This is where you go to change it. Um, now, this is different because it's a mod kit one. But uh, a lot of them, if you in the mod kit ones, I'll usually always work. Okay, and then, okay, so for the ID value, if you ever had issues with the car or the, the lighting being all over the place, the lighting's not on the light bar, it's like floating in the air, or the lights aren't working at all, this ID value, you can change that number. Usually if there's issues, that means that two cars are taking up the same number. So you just change that, you save it, you exit out. So that's where you go if you ha uh, need to fix your lighting issues. Uh, so now everything should be done. Pretty simple change here. So now the spawn code is changed to 11 CVPI HP. Now to add this to the server, we'll go back to FileZilla, and you have to open up your spot here. So you go on here. And you have SAFR underscore 11 CVPI. So now we connect it to our server on the right side. This is our 5 mi Yours might not look the exact same, but base is the base is the same. Um, server data, resources. Then you have all your resources here. Let's go ahead and drag SAFR underscore 11 CVPI in here. And as you can see, it's doing its file transfer, which should only take like a minute or so. Now... It's not going to work immediately because you have to go back and go to the server.cfg, right click on that, view slash edit, just press OK, and then do it in notepad. All right, and then what you do is you'll have to type, it can go anywhere on here. Of course, you can position it differently, like we have it in this server where it's like EUP is here, scripts are up here, blah, 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 blah. Or... You can do uh, just normal, but you'll do start and then you'll type the file name, which for in this case is F -A -F S A F R underscore 11 CVPI because that is the file name. So now you save that, exit out, press yes, and then it should work. You just restart your server and then you should be able to, in theory, type in that spawn code that you changed it to in game once you restart the server because usually i do this with the server off then turn the server back on and once all the uh, steps are finished then it should work so go in there type in the spawn code see if it works see if the lights work uh, and let me know in the comments below if everything worked for you all right guys thank you guys for watching and let me know any feedback any future tutorials you want to see and let me know if it worked okay see you guys and have a wonderful day